Yeah, I did. I climbed under the other day and got the yucky stuff. Yeah, crawled under there. Got down with the funk. I found a tube of lipstick. I found a tube of lipstick. Two wads of bubble gum. There we go. Oh, come on in, man. Hey, hey, everybody. It's it's. Cabo Rabo! Come on, Rabo! Yay! It's Cabo Rabo! Our calendar! From Vegas! A friend of mine, Richard Anderson, is the uh, top photographer in the world, actually. And I met him at the Penthouse Club in Tampa, and he decided he's never ever shot Penthouse shoot inside a barbershop in his whole life out of hundreds of layouts. So he came in here a couple months ago and did a Penthouse photo shoot in here for Penthouse Magazine. And what we did was, uh, while we were here, we shot a, a calendar, and it just came in today, and everybody in the shop was excited about it. Everybody was thrilled about the calendar. Oh, this is so cool. Here's our calendar. Here's our wait. Nobody's seen it. Come right out of the thing. Watch this. Ready? Here's our new calendar. Pretty good. Now, see, you're going to get in trouble with this. You're not going to be allowed to use one of these. Okay, it's cool. That's our new 07 calendar. Nobody. Those are the, this is what they'll be wearing yeah, later this afternoon. The girls will be in these shorts, and um, the pumps are going to be five of us. And not this girl. <laughs> Lisa, you taking off? Well, uh, the reason why we call Lisa Ghetto Booty is extremely obvious. Uh, she does have the booty. But the thing that's really funny is that uh, when she was leaving, I said, I know I can balance some things on that ass. Come on over here for a second. Try something for a second. Come on, try something for a second. Yeah, I gotta see this for a second. Just turn around and say, I just wanna try something for a second to see if like it works. Yeah, see, 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 works. Bottom line is, it wasn't a problem. Oh my god. Okay. I'd probably put two or three bottles and a case of beer on there and it lasted there. So, not a problem. And that's why we call our ghetto booty right there. Look at that. You can't do that with anybody else in this town. Bam. <laughs> Uh, I think Sean had it coming because she squirted me just a little too much today and she kept getting me and I was like, okay, you know, and we just took it to, to a new level. I got to get you, baby. If it's the last thing I do. No, no, lies are told on me. They'll be coming back on you. She had it coming, so she got what she deserved, which was just, and uh, it ended up turning into a wet t-shirt contest, so. Everybody was happy. Guy came in here with his girlfriend, had been living together for eight years. And the guy sat in Gianna's chair. He would give me dirty looks the whole time. Giving Gianna dirty looks, the whole haircut, and all of a sudden out of it, man, she waited for him to go outside, so he, he just came up there strictly to sit in Gianna's chair, slapped him in the face, I mean hard, I mean just cracked him right in the face. And then he went down the road, threw all her shit out of the truck, and jumps out of the truck, walks up the road. Apparently, they're done, they're over. And all this was because of a haircut. And I say, uh, welcome to Tim's Barbershop. Real TV, take two.